Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Yudinsky. In the first half of the 19th century, political jokes and jingles were actually a pretty popular method of garnering up votes and support for a candidate. One of the most popular was as follows, Van Van is a used up man. Well, this used up man in this political joke is actually the topic of today's moment in history. He was a short American who would serve as the country's eighth president during a time that saw both prosperity and chaos in the history of the nation. This man's name was Martin Van Buren. Now, Van Buren holds the title of the first president of the United States who was actually not old enough to witness or remember the American Revolution. He was born in 1782, one year before the signing of the Treaty of Paris that would end the war. Now, he was known by some as the little magician for his mighty five foot six frame. He would be the third northerner to serve in the White House, hailing from Kinderhook in New York State. Now, despite his region of birth, he did find some camaraderie with his immediate predecessor as commander in chief, the Southern boy Andrew Jackson, who actually installed the Yankee Van Buren as his secretary of state for his administration. Van Buren continued upward as a Jacksonian ally, becoming his vice president during his second term. Now this made Van Buren the ideal candidate to follow Jackson on the Democratic ticket. And sure enough, he was elected to the White House in 1836. He started hot out the gate with success, but not long after his election, the country entered perhaps its first big financial crisis, the Panic of 1837. Historians speculate what exactly caused the panic, but some do believe it was due to the bullheadedness of Van Buren's predecessor, Jackson. Now the panic closed many banks, and as such, the country entered into a recession. Van Buren did his best to bring the country out, but the panic lasted the duration of his term in Washington. Now his term was also caught up in some conflict with Native Americans down in Florida. Still, he did do some good things, and perhaps one of his best was his effort to stop the expansion of slavery. Now, although he was part of the Democratic Party, and that was a party that would staunchly support slavery in the decades leading up to the Civil War, he was perhaps a true northerner at heart, and sure enough, he desired that the practice should not be allowed to expand. Now, Van Buren only lasted one term, losing to his Whig opponent, William Henry Harrison, in 1840. He did make one more unsuccessful bid for the White House in 1848, and he did remain a political figure in the last decade and a half of his life before dying in the year 1862. Thanks so much for joining me once again for a moment in history.